Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter. And in this video, we're jumping in and talking about this guy, which is the 50 millimeter anamorphic lens from Suray. Now I'm really late to the game on this. I was super sick when it was on Kickstarter, but it is now finally available in most places online. I'll have links down in the description. So I thought it'd be a good time to catch up and talk about this awesome little lens. In short, this tiny little anamorphic lens will take a 16 by nine image and give you more of an anamorphic aspect ratio of roughly 2.4 to one. But it can do several other things which we'll be getting into here in a second. The lens is very well made and so much easier to use than a lot of the anamorphic adapters that are available on the market right now. I've been using SLR Magic adapters for a while and they're pretty finicky and the specs and image really aren't that good at the end of the day. Whereas for around the same price, you can get one of these and it's so much easier to use and the image is just great. You're really not going to find find something like this under a thousand dollars that has the incredible features and things like single focus, a built in filter ring, a wiggle free lens mount are all things that are almost impossible to find under a thousand dollars up until this lens. You can pick this lens up in three different mounts, a Sony E as well as a Fuji X mount. And finally, we have the Micro Four Thirds mount. The Su Ray 50 millimeter covers super 35 millimeter sensor sizes. So you won't be able to use this with full frame without cropping. Personally, I don't think this is really a problem because a full frame version of this lens would be significantly larger and quite a bit more expensive. If you have a GH5, GH5S or pocket cinema camera, you can do something very unique with this lens. This 1.33 times anamorphic is really designed for taking 16 by nine and spitting out a widescreen image once desqueezed. But on the cameras I just mentioned, you can record in a four by three anamorphic aspect ratio, which once you apply a lens like this will give you a 16 by nine image. So in short, if you want your final project to be a 16 by nine standard video, but really like the look of anamorphic, you can use this lens with one of those cameras and get your cake and eat it too. It's really trippy and I think cool to see anamorphic footage and flares and things like that in a 16 by nine video. So now let's take a look at a couple tests that will demonstrate how great this lens is and also how it differs from a traditional 2X anamorphic lens. So first here is a 2X anamorphic lens. And as you can see, the bokeh is really, really oval, very tall. And when I put my phone in there, we get some really nice flares. In contrast, here is the Sure lens. And as you can see, the background bokeh is more wide, more round, not quite as oval and tall as the previous shot. Also, when comparing flares, I found the 2X to be more pleasing, at least on this older projection lens that I'm using. I really like that the lines don't run all the way across the image, and just overall, the flares just look better to me. On the Suray, they're still pretty awesome flares, but they are more blue, and personally, I don't really like colored flares. One incredible thing, however, is the sharpness. If you look at the 2X and we zoom into 400% and compare it to the Suray, You'll notice that the Suray at f1.8 is so much sharper than at f2 on that vintage lens setup. Now, if we just look at the Suray for an anamorphic lens, this is pretty incredible, especially for under $1,000. So wide open at 1.8, it's a little soft, but as you start to close down the aperture, it sharpens up pretty quickly. Personally, I have no problem shooting wide open on this lens. I think paired with modern high resolution cameras, this kind of setup is wonderful. So capturing footage on something like a Fuji X-T3 that has a 6K sensor and captures 4K, and I really have no problem using slightly soft lenses on these high resolution cameras. At the beginning of the year, my wife and I went over to Iceland and I took this lens with me. Unfortunately, I spent most of my time with my jaw dropped just looking around and didn't capture as much footage as I wanted to. But as you can see from the shots I did get, the lens performed admirably and I kept it wide open at 1.8 the entire time. I think for the money, you're just not gonna beat something. The size is incredible being able to tear around with a super lightweight setup. And since it's not a 2X anamorphic lens, you can use it on cameras that don't have de-squeezing and you can still see your frame, focus easily. It's just an easy anamorphic lens to use. If you go with 2X and you don't have a way to de-squeeze that, it's so hard to see what's going on with your composition and focus can be really, really tricky. Overall, I am thrilled with this lens and I'm really excited to hear about future lenses from Suray 
and others in this price point. I think we're about to see a lot of awesome anamorphic lenses come out, but it's a great time to be interested in anamorphic lenses and video in general. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about anamorphic lenses and how it all works and all the different numbers and things, I've done a video on that that you can check out in the description or up in the cards. So that's gonna do it for my review of this incredible $700 anamorphic lens. If you wanna learn more about it, there'll be links in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.